Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFT Bank. Um, improve your investing experience and we talk about JFD Invest as always within those webinars. My name, yeah, Stefan Friedrichowski and a warm welcome from my end as well as well in, as in the name of uh, JFD Bank, of course. Today we have the 26th of July uh, 2019, 1 p.m. Uh, at least in uh, Germany and as far as I I can see from from the written names uh, out there, we are once again quite international here. It, look, it looks like uh, maybe you drop me a note uh, where you are from, because it's really interesting to have that um, many international people around here. It's really a pleasure for me. Yeah, we talk about JFT Invest today once again, and you know, or you may know that JFT Invest is something like a wealth management, but a digital one. So it's still you are involved. Uh, it's not like uh, you go to a bank or somebody else and say, "Okay, here uh, I have one hundred thousand euros. Please do something out of that money." And on the other hand, it's still about trading. Uh, but not in a sense that you open an account and then you trade by your own. No, in this case, you follow professional strategies um, according to your personal preferences. Uh, that means you are still actively involved, which is good, and your job is simply the job of a portfolio manager because uh, you decide which strategies you like and you want to put into your um, portfolio and um, Therefore, there is not a single uh, way to do it. It has really to do with your personal preferences and how to select the right strategies. Uh, I will explain a little bit. I cannot give a, a recommendation by its own to say, okay, go into that, that, and that. Uh, no, it has really to do with your preferences, uh, how risk a fiend you are, and um, that's really uh, something only you can finally decide. If you have any further questions, just drop me a note at s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. You see it already here on the first slide. and Or you just send an email to support at uh, jfdbank.com. As always, the webinars are recorded and you will find those recordings on the JFD YouTube channel. And it's exactly that is uh, maybe the keywords to find it. Uh, if you go to Google and uh, press JFD uh, YouTube, then you are already uh, almost uh, in the channel and you can see all the recordings also from any other webinars. Before I really start, you know the procedure I have to show. As a risk disclaimer, at least once during the webinar. And what's about here is simply that we talk about trading, we talk about investment, we talk about trading strategies. But finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own and your own responsibility. Uh, I think I think that is quite self-explaining, um, and uh, you understand uh, why I have to show it uh, every time. In total, we talk about three topics. I want to uh, briefly discuss the highlights of uh, last week, and we go into those strategies as well uh, later. And um, of course, I will once again have a look to the new one. There has been a new strategy called Butterfly, and uh, now I think it's already two weeks uh, actively trading at JFD Invest uh, in a way that you can follow it. So, strategy itself is uh, older as always because uh, we don't put uh, strategies on JFT West without any uh, track record minimum six months. We will look to that as well and finally we look to my personal JFT West account because what I'm what I'm telling you here <laughs> I'm doing actively by myself as well so you can have a loo, uh, uh, can have a view on my personal account. Let's start with the highlights. The highlights last week, okay. Uh, the best strategy of, at all has been the strategy Vulcano. And you see already here some performance uh, figures and uh, performance charts. And that is really a strategy that looks a little bit nice or strange or however you call it, weird. Um, the, it was for a long time quite stable. Then 
at the very end during the last uh, two months it was uh, heavily going up and down up and down and now finally going back exactly uh, to the final position here so everything has calmed down uh, for that strategy and uh, the overall performance of the last week has been 11 percent but let's have a look to that strategy in more detail as well because i think it's a quite interesting strategy but from time to time it will be a little bit tricky and you exactly as it has been during the last two months uh, i personally expect for the next couple of months uh, more steady uh, behavior uh, because those kind of circumstances uh, happen only really uh, from time to time but uh, only rarely there are other strategies quite profitable as well uh, like hyperion gold rush and uh, we will discuss those strategies as well and i can tell you already from from, from uh, those names uh, hyperion is much more risky okay let's see that what, what does it mean even and on the other hand has much higher uh, um, profits that's good as well but on the other hand there's more risk involved and that's the reason why i always refer to your personal preferences because you may think a 10 percent drawdown is too much or you may think oh i can live with that 50 percent drawdown no problem it's really up to you i, I cannot uh, give you any recommendation about such a number because uh, it has to do with uh, your own thinking and your own preferences on the other hand for example gold rush is quite um uh, not risky strategy it's uh, it's doing its job it has a good performance up and downs as well but there's never much money involved in any trades no heavy open trades nothing like that so it's a totally different approach and therefore we have to check that one as well but jft west is uh, much more and uh, you will find everything here on our homepage going for investing and then jft west and then you are almost in jft west let me start with the top five performing strategies uh, you see them all here and we are talking about double digit numbers in terms of return in terms of profits but you see on the other hand there are other key figures already mentioned here equity balance deviation i will explain later uh, because it's quite important to understand that and you see last month's result or year-to-date result and hmm, looking around here you see already differences for the uh, given strategies uh, our top performer has had a quite um, heavy uh, months before so uh, and even looking to the complete year it was net not that profitable but overall it's a brilliant strategy earning lots of money there are other strategies which are more steady like archimedes you see okay it's still close to 40 percent growth um low number for equity balance deviation low last month profitable year to date nine percent so that's um, a little bit more than one percent per month okay that's not that bad um, and there are others uh, with similar behavior if you are more interested in everything so you can just open the guest access and that's what i will do uh, in a minute but finally uh, let me explain how you can really go into everything um, you open the jft invest profile that means you press the green button signing up and that's just a registration purpose uh, so you you enter your email address and the password and then you get uh, you have access to more details within those strategies if you log in still there's no money involved so you can do it anytime finally if you like everything you would open an jfd invest account which is a special account same leverage as the professional traders which are behind jfd invest so you get the same kind of conditions the only thing you can't do is you cannot trade by your own in a sense like opening uh, individual trades um, uh, going long in ducks or whatever uh, you have in mind but uh, the account is only meant for following uh, strategies of uh, JFD Invest. Then you connect the two things and you can start investing. Investing means you select one of those, or not only one. My recommendation is always to go for more than one uh, in order to have 
really diversified portfolio and then um, selecting those strategies, following those strategies. And finally, it means that all the trades, uh, all new trades are directly copied into your account, meaning there's some there's a mirror process behind uh, that means all new trades will be copied into your account open uh, so you open um, according to your settings uh, the same kind of trades maybe with different volume because that depends on how much money you invest into a given strategy uh, and then everything starts by its own so uh, and you don't need any extra computer no expert advisor no virtual private server nothing like that everything is done directly at jft invest but let's have a look um, so i press the button guest access and now we can see much more strategies in total we have 16 and still we have uh, a few numbers here as being the key figures but i would strongly recommend before you you follow any strategy do a real review process and it's kind of uh, what i do within those webinars discussing those strategies it more or less means reading some numbers looking to the charts looking to drawdowns looking to equity balance deviation and then decide do you like it or not and then you might follow or not that's a process of that review and that's a quite important process because only with uh, the strategy which which is fitting to your um, preferences uh, is a good strategy for you and that kind of answer might be different for anybody out there so um let's go for vulcano that was the top performer so let's go first uh, for that and you can just press the button uh, of a given strategy and um, then um, in a few seconds uh, hopefully um, we open um, the strategy will pop up here and we see all the relevant uh, numbers uh, sometimes i have some problems because doing the webinar and opening uh, websites on the internet uh, it's a little bit of a nightmare um, and sometimes at least um, yeah, from time to time. Good. Now we have the same figure as uh, you have seen in our uh, newsletter, and you see overall quite good growth. And let me explain you some other things uh, if it comes to to those details. Let's go for the equity. You still have in mind the growth, and you see, okay, it looks pretty much the same. But now we have two lines, and the two lines means uh, one is for balance and one is for equity, and that explains already the equity balance deviation because you see there are two lines and there uh, might deviate from each other what does it mean balance of an account is always um, the money in that account with all closed trades so the real um, account as it as it, as it is equity on the other hand includes all open trades and as it comes to normal trading yeah you might have open trades and uh, those trades might be uh, in plus or in minus and that explains equity balance deviation and that means if we have a situation like here it means okay there have been open trades which have been at least being temporarily in a loss and therefore we talk about uh, floating losses because they are temporarily finally only if close the trades then we book them into our account and the balance would be uh, it's an equivalent equivalent um, a number but in this case there has been open trades and finally they hit the profit and yeah we are back on uh, here on the old line because that number is that important we have on the one hand side uh, that number always for any strategy um, highlighted uh, already in the overview minus 18 percent and we have a chart for that as well and here you can see what it means uh, that's exactly the difference between equity and balance and you see that during the last two months um, there have been some higher losses uh, within the strategy but finally they are gone that means the trades have uh, hit the uh, take profit overall 
all the eight, uh, uh, 12 months before, it was quite calm, uh, no huge uh, losses, floating losses. So it was quite calm and a steady growth, as we have seen in the overall growth here. Looking to some other numbers you have for any strategy, uh, you have the monthly return table. Okay, uh, the best return table would be a, a, a one only with green numbers. And indeed we have uh, three strategies uh, who have only green numbers. Uh, the three are Archimedes, uh, Forex Gun, and uh, the new one, Butterfly. Uh, so not a single month with losses, which is really excellent. And um, you can see uh, the monthly return table and you have access to more details like the trading statistics here. Um, so in this case, the strategy has executed more than 700 trades uh, since inception. And you can see what instruments are traded. And for this strategy, it's just one symbol. And that is Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. So strategy, I can explain a little bit more, is opening short and long trades. Um, sometimes even simultaneously, and uh, managing those trades uh, heading for a small profit. That's all. And uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar is quite good um, underlying for that kind of strategy because normally it doesn't show up any huge trends either in the one or in the other direction. And that explains exactly why we have had higher losses during the last two months because Within that time frame, um, the uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar showed a quite good trend, which is not good for this kind of strategy. And that's uh, the reason behind. If you go for uh, here, pressing the details, then I can explain a little bit more numbers around, um, like, for example, um, minimum investment sum. Um, which is necessary to have in order to follow that kind of strategy. And you see how many investors are in to that strategy, how much money is uh, under uh, management uh, in total. And um, I don't want to hide that number here. There's for all the strategies, there's a performance fee involved, no management fee. So there are no, no constant costs over time, uh, no. It's only if strategy is earning money, then you would have to pay money uh, as well, but only from the profit and 25% uh, of the profits. And the good thing is, it's oh, it's it's um, high watermark principle, which means only if you reach with your followed strategy new highs um, on a month's end base, then you would have to pay uh, that kind of performance fee. And only then, uh, which is... I think the fairest way to charge any fees. So that's one strategy, but let's go for others as well. Uh, for example, you saw that we have uh, the top two performer uh, of last week was Hyperion. And um, that's the overall growth, uh, which is really quite good, close to 70% still. Um, so that's really a huge number. And, but but uh, as you can see already with the chart or in the monthly return table, it's not that calm. And that is reflected exactly by a higher equity balance deviation. If you look into that graph, then you can see, okay, on average, we might have between 10 and 15% uh, permanent losses in our account, open trades, which um, show up with losses. That's okay. Uh, it's nothing against that, but you have to keep that in mind if you follow that uh, strategy like uh, Hyperion, that you might see within your account those floating losses then as well. And uh, so it depends on you whether you accept losses like that or not. The other good thing is you can create portfolios. So let's think about you select five strategies and you invest in um, those strategies, uh, let's say 5,000 euros each. So in total an account of 25K. Then your risk is diversified. So for example, if you would follow that strategy with 5K, let me look whether it's possible. Okay, no, minimum investment is 6K, but um, okay, then uh, let's uh, calculate for 6K. Then 
you know, equity balance deviation um, might be um, around uh, 3K, but within your overall account. So that's the reason why any portfolio is always better than a, just following one strategy. If it just if you just have in mind highest performance possible, okay, then you would put all your money into Hyperion and nothing else. But it's up to you as always. Um, for that strategy, let me show the instruments being traded, and that is uh, mainly DAX and Dow Jones. Even that might have an impact on your selection procedure because you might like special underlines, or you say, oh, no, I'm not interested in having any strategy um, dealing with indices for whatever reason. Um, okay, you get all the information here on the web page. Finally, Let's have a close look to the new one, and that is a butterfly, um, inception date November last year, um, having earned uh, close to 18% uh, up to now, steady growth, okay, you can now already interpret this one here, that will be um, equity balance deviation, but in the order of 10%, which is uh, at least for my thinking, Okay, and looking short-term history, okay, that's always close to to just one percent. Um, that's okay, that's fine with me. Drawdown, if you take the highest drawdown here, then it would be eight um, percent. Okay, uh, we get all those numbers, and um, if you have a profile, then you will see the last closed trades as well um, behind. Um, uh, here, but only if you have a profile. Okay, thinking uh, before I go into um, my personal account, let's have a view on trading instruments here. Okay, that are more the my uh, the majors, not the minors. Um, Euro, British pound, Euro, US dollar, cable, British pound, US dollar. Okay, uh, quite interesting. Uh, looks good. It's already a portfolio in itself. Um, so interesting as well. By the way, if you look for portfolios uh, in itself, a gold rush is uh, something which is really, that is uh, a strategy trading uh, more than 30 different, um, 30 different um, instruments. So that is uh, a huge portfolio in itself. Okay, I, I mentioned I want to, uh, to to have a look to my personal JFD Invest account so, you have, so that you can see which strategies I'm following. And okay, therefore I have to log in and um, that this, uh, I go into my account. Um, okay, it takes a few seconds uh, to open up that. And uh, here we are. That's the account I opened at the very beginning of uh, JFD Invest. And that now looks like if you have a JFD Invest account as well. You can investigate your account in the same way that you investigate strategies, just by clicking View Performance Analysis. Then you get the same key figures, everything the same, traded instruments, and so on. But let's talk first about uh, my balance of that account. You see that the first uh, six, eight months, um, I have a really steady growth up to uh, that level here. And then I have had three drawdowns, one, two, three. But the recovery is ongoing, which is quite well. I think it only will take uh, an additional two weeks. Then we have at least recovered already the, uh, the third uh, step down. Why can that happen? Okay. I have limit, limits for my risk, and if those limits are reached, then strategy is stopped out of my account. And that happened at least two times. This last third step was a real, uh, just non, not profitable trade within a followed strategy. Um, but the other two steps down have been um, risk limitations, which have been active, and that's good to have those. You can activate them and then you limit your risk. Maybe it's a wrong decision because finally the strategy is turning around and uh, you close the trades uh, too early. But on the other hand, with limitation um, saves your money. 
still um, uh, with a gross return of 25%. Uh, so I still like it. And I even like it to have those drawdowns because um, up to here it was uh, yeah, maybe a little bit too brilliant. But that's trading, that's investing. I'm still uh, thinking that uh, when it comes to the final uh, one year performance of that strategy, it will be a double digit number. And hmm, I think that's uh, a quite good result. And that is always even after fees. Um, so fees are already paid because we look to my balance of that account. Looking for what kind of strategies I'm currently following, uh, you see uh, I'm following five strategies, uh, Archimedes, Balance, Neptune, Gold Rush, and Gold Mine, and that's my overall uh, portfolio allocation. Nevertheless, let me at least show you how it would work to follow a new strategy, even if I will not do it finally, it's really that easy. Um, Let's assume we would want to follow Butterfly. Uh, we look to the strategies thinking, okay, we are convinced of that. Then just pressing the button, uh, follow. Um, and now you see what happens. We have to allocate money. And the minimum and rest of that strategy is 3K. Uh, and you see available balance, 288 euros. So that's the reason why I can't follow the strategy because my money is already invested into the five others therefore i cannot do it practically but at least i can explain how to do so you would allocate the amount of money and uh, you may go higher or, uh, but minimum will be 3k and it can do uh, something else and i mentioned that that is risk management if you activate that uh, and you accept the terms and conditions then um, you have a slider uh, like this one here. And let's think about it would be at 50%. What does it mean? It would mean if we invest 3K, whenever our losses would exceed 50%, which means 1,500 euro, the strategy would automatically be stopped out of my portfolio. All open trades of that strategy would be closed and I would not follow any more that strategy. That is something for risk limitation. You may use it or not. Um, what I would recommend is that at least please compare uh, equity balance deviation of a given strategy with your risk uh, level here. So thinking about you could follow the strategy Hyperion, we have discussed that on average floating losses are already uh, around 10 or 20 percent. Uh, so if you would follow that strategy with a risk management at 10, I would assume that you will be stopped out quite soon. Okay, it might be your intention, uh, but um, it depends a little bit on which strategy you follow, whether that is a suitable level, yes or no. That's all how to follow any strategy. If I could do, I would do, uh, and I would do uh, um, following um, Butterfly. Then what will happen? The next be open to trade within that master account of the strategy Butterfly will be automatically copied to my account as well and uh, I would have uh, all the trades following up um, in my account as well. So that's how we do JFD Invest, following strategies and creating your own portfolio as I have done here um, with quite good results and um, we will have new strategies soon I think uh, as always and uh, we'll look to them as well and Hopefully, I can show up with a double-digit uh, net growth at uh, the one year end of my personal JFD Invest account. And similar things you might achieve with your JFD Invest account if you like and open an account at JFD Invest. That's for today. Um, we will have another webinar next week. And as you know, there are lots of webinars around uh, educational ones, uh, entertainment ones. So anything you will find at uh, our web page. And if you don't, if you, you are not live within the webinars, then you can look to the recordings on our JFD YouTube channel. You may even um, register there, then you get a uh, notification 
that new videos have been uploaded automatically. That's for now. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we are close to the weekend, so have a nice weekend and uh, see you soon. Uh, hopefully already next week. Have a good time. Bye-bye.